another guy that I just recently started following, Blanco. If y'all familiar with Blanco, um, aka the uh, pansexual Pisces. So be sure to go check him out too. Get up, though, cool cats. Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, as always, Ben Yada Vivid, the one that you hate to love. And happy holidays to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, today is Sunday, uh, December 8th. And right now, I um, decided to go ahead and do my own mukbang. Uh, right here, I have a steak, and I also have a, a spinach salad, and I got me a little red wine. All right, so... Um, Let's dig into this stuff. First, I'm going to open my wine and I'm going to go ahead and just get started on some topics. Um, I said on my channel that I was not going to like literally talk about people. Like, go in, you know what I'm saying? I said I wasn't going to do it. But I got to do this. I got to say this shit. I got to really say it. Um, Larry? <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That party last night was to die for. I had a ball. You hear me? I got my life at that party. I drunk so much motherfucking tequila at that party. And then they ran out at the end of the party and then I drunk uh 42 below. Good thing I didn't get fucked up and you be was too hung over this morning. But the party, um, Larry's party was at um, 575 Boulevard Southeast Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it was at a, uh, I don't know if it's still a church or it used to be a church uh, where clearly it uh, initially was a church. Um, but um, I think they rented out, uh, I mean, of course, they rented out for venues and everything. Um, hence the name that it was at a church. I don't know if it's still occupied at the church um, at this moment. No shade intended. But um, nevertheless, I got my life. I danced my ass off and caught the Holy Ghost and praised Jesus all at the same time. You hear me? I did it. And I, I, don't, I can't speak for anybody else. But I know I had a blast. It was so much room in it. It was so crowded. It, it, it got so crowded. And, ooh, it was a lot of people there. It was a lot of people there, uh, familiar faces that I've seen. Um, you know, a couple of, um, there was maybe like one or two, uh, um, should I say, celebrities there in a sort of a sense. But, um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice, you know, um, I seen, um, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Randall, uh, he was there, he was dressed really nice, um, I seen, uh, who else did I see there, um, who else? I don't know. But nevertheless, you know, I got there early. I got there around, but the party started at like nine. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. One minute. Mm. Oh my God. So. Mm. Got a little steak. I got there around about 8.50, so I was super early. The boy started at 9. 
And so, me personally, a lot of times you're gonna see me prompt at functions, sometimes you're gonna see me coming late, whatever. So yeah, but nevertheless, the party was a blast. It was Larry's birthday. And um, again, there was a couple of famous people there. DJ Miami was there. Uh, Mr. Randall, he was there. You know, Larry, he's a celebrity in the ship because it was his birthday. Let me tell you something. Larry here on um, the outfit he had on last night, y'all. It was on point. When I tell you, Larry was so ready, I wasn't ready. That's how ready he was. He was so ready with that leather on, looking cute and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, his boyfriend had to stand beside him too because he was ready too. Because he knew he was looking a little too cute to be around some people up in there. Somebody was going to snatch him up like a snack. But, yeah, um, but it was cool. Um, shout out again, shout out to Larry and his boyfriend and everybody that helped formulate his party, which is, um, I don't want to call these people names because they maybe not want me to call their names out on camera or whatever. And um, at the end of the day, it's really not important. But I had a blast. The food was awesome. They had ribs. They had uh, meatballs. Um, they had more meatballs. They had wings. Um, they had more wings. They had potato salad. Who made the potato salad? Um, they had um, macaroni salad. And... It was something else like potatoes or something. I can't remember what it was. I didn't try it. But you know, I'm trying to watch the weight with all these uh, carbs and shit. Y'all know I can't be eating all that goddamn um, starch and shit. Oh my God, I just got an orgasm. But still, the party was great. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And, um, I got my life. Uh, you know, I saw people, I some, uh, saw some old friends from back in the day. We got up, chit chat for a minute, caught up uh, and stuff. And stuff. And then you saw some shady people that you know from back in the day, too. So. Mm. Mm -mm. At the end of the day, everybody was cool and cordial and collective. And so, so we don't need all that. As long as everybody was good, that's all that matters. And everybody had a good time. My friends came out. Uh, one got out of work and came through, pushed on through, which is Marco. Y'all know Marco. Um, Zakir was there, Justin was there, and stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, so enough about Larry's party. Let's get into the rumor report. <laughs> Lord, the motherfucking rumor report. <laughs> rumor has it. That there's uh, uh, terrible tornadoes going around. If I'm following people on Facebook, which is okay, cool. You know, if you want to follow, unfollow somebody on Facebook, that's fine. You know, um, at the end, when the rumor report really came out was that uh, she moved to California, allegedly. You know, you know, my man, Miami had to teach me some of these things. Allegedly, he moved to 
California. So this person asked her, well, where did you move to in California? She said Hollywood Boulevard. And he said, where at? On Hollywood Boulevard. I don't know. I think she paid it or something, allegedly. But last time I checked, was she talking about the one in California or was she talking about the one on, on, in Bankhead? Because there's a Hollywood Boulevard in Bankhead. Not too far from here, period. But, it was all cool and dandy and stuff. But when I go to a party last night, if y'all see what I had on last night, I had on all red, I had on a red jersey, and on this red hat, and on red pants, and I had on some, some brown and black polo boots to match the hat. All right. Now, why would you come up to me and ask me And my security for the night. Seriously? And my security for the night. No, you didn't see APD standing out the door? So, at the end of the day, that was shady in itself. No way around looking at it. And I'm calling it out right now. No, I'm on security. You know I want security at the end of the day. Um, they asked for APD. And why would you think that I was in security? Outside, that's my profession. But I got on all this fucking red. Just saying. Okay, I know about the rumor report. Um, in other news... Uh, so the, again, today's Sunday. I posted. To, Justin's was supposed to come over here, but uh, I don't know where he's at. He's probably still studying. Well, we were supposed to be doing this together, but but I could just do it myself. Um, I just want to be on camera. Get used to being on camera with you guys by myself sometimes, because at the end of the day, it's my channel. So. Shout out to my best friend, Vincent. You know, he's in the, he's going out for Onyx in New York. So good luck, my bestie. And I can't wait to see you in that Onyx vest. With your brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what's going on today. But mm, mm, mm. yeah. Whoever said they don't like even help me need help and probably need to go jump off a bridge. Because when I tell you. A nice steak. And a salad with some wine. Oh, I'm gonna be my job. So hungry. Yeah, this is so good. So, I've seen the story about we love. And Miss CEO. Tell me the story about B-Love and Miss, and Miss CEO. Um, it's all this dirt, but since I'm on camera, I'm going to say something about it now. I honestly think, I'd rather feel like I need to say it now than later because 
I know that B, um, Mr. B Love's gonna move on from that. But if I was to end up going on her page, or going on her platform, like I would have to do everything in my power not to say anything to her about it. But if I said now, it'll be out of my system. But I don't understand how that girl, uh, that Miss CEO, uh, Eat with Quay. I guess that's what her name is. I understand why she even did that. Like you were sitting there sucking up to that man, uh, to, uh, you sitting up, sitting up sucking up to that lady in her face, or whatever, and then sucking up to us, the fans, the viewers, about oh yeah, you had a really good experience and everything else, and at the same time you saying you know you don't be fake and phony and stuff, but you was being, you was clearly being fake and phony as fuck. Um, but at the same time, then you had to get on this video with your sister. Oh, you hear your sister just now about the blah blah woo. But at the end of the day, everybody done, done did a review on you. Eat with Quay. They did a review on you. And stuff. And the things that you're doing. Stuff how you felt. Things you said to your sister. Things y'all had kind of went through and everything else. Everything that I pretty much just heard from you on your videos. So you are, you need counseling. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. I know you're going through some things. You ain't like this, I know it's old. But you need counseling. Eat with Quay, Miss CEO. You need help. And if you keep this up, you're gonna take your sister down that road too. Just because you ain't got shit right in your head doesn't mean that you have to bring your take your sister down that road too and have her fucked up in the head. I don't care what you say or what you do. Hell, you can fire back at me about it. But that shit was wrong. Dead wrong. You probably, at the end of the day, you making all this money, doing good on YouTube. But at the same time, your sister got something that you probably didn't got. And that's happiness and peace. You got the money and issues, though. Period. Oh! Gotta love a muck bang. Gotta love one. All right, y'all. So, here's another topic that I'm actually going ahead and just go ahead and talk about. Y'all, I do not like my voice. Here's the thing. Now, until I get better mics and cameras and stuff, I'm going to have to deal with it. But... When my voice is at an octave like this, to me, it's when I play it back, it sounds feminine, it sounds extra. Um, if I bring my voice down to a tone like this, where I'm more comfortable with it, and this is how I normally talk on a day-to-day -day basis when there's no noise around, then I'm good. But when I have to project my voice and stuff, and then certain things I say, when you start off making fun of people or other uh, guys or females in the, in the gay community, you tend, to talk, you tend to pick up the lingo. And it's hard to get rid of. But, yeah, I don't like my voice. I never did. Um, but I tolerate it for you too. And that was one of the obstacles that I had to overcome. Um, in order to start stepping out, on, stepping out of my shell and not being embarrassed about every little thing. Hell, I be embarrassed. Something could be so goofy and fucked up or uh, dumb or stupid on TV and I could be embarrassed for that person or whatever that was going on at that moment. But I really stepped out of my shell this year. I did. I'm pretty sure some people that are probably watching that know me, or they know of me, well, sorry, I said, that, that know me, can see that I stepped out of my shell uh, a little bit more. With the conversation, things I do. Yeah. But I didn't, I don't care for my voice like that. So if anybody has some tips on the best mic to connect to a iPad, which is I'm recording on my iPad right now. Y'all see it? 
recording on my iPad right now. And my phone is right here. I record on my phone as well. Um, but I definitely need a mic compatible with both of them. And if I need to buy some adapters and everything else, please put it in the link below and tell me where um, where I need to purchase them from. So, um, so one thing that I need to tell y'all is that if y'all seen the gay parade, if y'all seen the gay pride parade video that I had posted, which is actually. Funny story about the Gay Pride Parade. So, I recorded that video and stuff. And had I would not have cussed in the beginning of the video or period in the video, yeah, I could have easily probably had a uh, somebody to sponsor me or advertise. It could have been an advertised video for AARP. Um. And it, I could have probably, ain't no tender if I could have probably gotten them to be a sponsor so I could get, you know what I'm saying, paid for the video. But because I cussed in it, it was just like, no, nope, can't use it. So they used bits and pieces of the video, you know, of course. So the Gay Pride Parade, the Gay Pride Parade of video is bits and pieces of use are being used for AARP. I mean, what they're using on their website. So. Excuse me. But, so I need to learn how to stop cussing if I'm going to, or being, um, say anything that's derogative, slanderous, uh, in a video if I'm promoting or a spot, uh, actual corporation is there outside of my business. Mm hmm So, that was a lesson learned. You know, you live and learn. You gotta learn the rope of the business sometimes. You kind of step on the crack a little bit or whatever, something you trip and fall and bust your face. Either way, you gotta get back up and start all over again. You learn from your mistakes and move on. But yeah, had I would have known that, I mean, I would have just thought, if I would have thought about it, normally I think about stuff like that. And I try to be cautious just in case somebody wants to sponsor me or anything. So. Mm, the dog. But it's all good over here. Um, shout out to Terrible Tornado. I hope it's all as well. You know, and good shit like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and give some shout outs to some YouTubers that I follow and that I just recently follow. So, y'all going to probably see eventually a, a review from um, of me doing a review of uh, Triple Plug, Trip Ali, aka Triple Plug on um, Instagram, Facebook, no, Trip I ain't finna call out his, uh, go, triple plug, go to his, uh, this page. I ain't finna call out all his information like that, because I don't even want to call out the wrong shit, and that's his shit. But, um, I'm going to do a review on watching one of his videos, because triple plug videos are very interesting. I like them. Um, a lot of them are very funny to me, because how, how he be going off, of course. And... Um, another guy that I just recently started following, um, Blanco. If y'all familiar with Blanco, um, aka the uh, pansexual Pisces. So be sure to go check him out too. He's all right. He's um, he's a YouTuber. A only a YouTuber only fans, um, porn star. Yeah, you know what it is. And um, yeah, you got a nice pickle too. 
No shade. I've seen it. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but. Yeah, go to his, um, check out Blanco, Pansexual Pisces, Pansexual Pisces, the Pansexual Pisces. Um, we should check, check um, um, who else? I mean, of course, I give a shout out to Zoe, to Zoe, who's always. Um, B. Simone, um, shout outs to, um, who else? Um, oh, I forgot that lady's name.